For this upcoming build I'm doing a collaboration with Street Blisters. They brought out some new wheels and some accessories for a couple of Honda kits, so they figured why not do a build as well. They sent me out a kit and some of those accessories, and I will start with the unboxings, then move into the project in the upcoming videos. So as you can see by that quick look through the kit and the instructions as well, it's a pretty simple kit, though it does have a couple nice details. The main interior tub isn't really that detailed, the center console is nicely detailed, and the armrest as well. The rear seat is pretty okay, but the door cards are lacking. Now not really that big of a problem, as the dashboard figures most of that out by uh, tr tracking your eye away from that to the dashboard, which is nicely detailed. It has a couple options like left and right hand drive and also since this is the type r kit you have a couple type r accessories as well comes with multiple spoilers and lips and also various parts again for the left and right hand drive configuration and if two dashboards wasn't enough there is a third one as well this one is lacking some options in here like the navigation screen or the bigger radio screen not really sure what it is but it doesn't have it on this version. It does come with some nice Type R wheels, spoiler, and another spoiler, and even some of those nice seats that you see in those Type R's as well, and a third steering wheel, so options are aplenty. Besides those upgraded seats, you also get the stock seats to build a stock version that isn't a Type R, which of course I won't be using, but it's nice nonetheless. It has some disc brakes in it with some weird grooves, which I might need to sand out smooth or change in total. And of course the exhaust and some of the chassis pieces. It's a pretty simple chassis, but I guess it does the job. The clear parts are nicely detailed as well. In the rear there are plenty of details in the lenses and so are there in the front as well. It even comes with the option for a sunroof and some of the indicators on the side. You can see the heating elements in the rear glass and also the rest of the glass is nicely detailed with a good hazing around the edges so you know where to mask it off in order to paint those black edges. The kit also comes with two decal sheets, one with a couple of aftermarket logos like the Mugen and the Bride as well and some others that I really haven't heard of and there is a stock decal sheet for the Type R version with the red logos, some of the gauges and some other emblems for around the model. If you're planning on using the stock kit wheels you of course get some tires with it as well. They have a nice profile and a sidewall as well with a lot of nice details captured into them and of course some poly caps to mount it all together. The main body is molded in a white plastic and all the bumpers and side skirts are molded into it which makes it a lot easier to assemble which has of course less parts and if you're painting it it's also a lot easier to not get a different shade of color on the bumpers and all that kind of jazz. So the detailing around it is pretty nice. It does have some pretty harsh mold lines which need to be removed on the rear of course on the roof as well and on the front bumper. Nothing really special overall it looks really good and the details are captured so you can build a nice display model out of it. <laughs> 